Ryan Combs here uh, with AFT Construction. We're out here at Liberty Estate. Um, it's four day. So the crew's out here and what we're doing is we're going uh, four feet up and we're going around the entire house three times. So um, right now being on site, like we can tell this is all full. Um, you can feel it when you hit it, but you can see that it's coming through the seams. These guys are doing a really good job of making sure that they've had all these walls vibrated and that all the concrete and grout is getting all through, you know, and below windows, above windows and all the tight spots. So as you can see, these, it's all coming through right here, the Fox blocks. And the Fox blocks, they have a strong plastic grid in the middle that keeps these together. Um, if we had one cut open, I'd show you, but anyways, it, it's super substantial so that when we pour, um, these don't really just bust apart. Like you can screw into them, you can use them as backing and all that good stuff. Um, but as you see, Doug and the crew from ICF uh, Specialists, they also have enough backing everywhere to hold everything in place, especially when we go around windows and stuff. Every opening on an ICF house has a certain amount of jam bars that are dictated in the plans. So on an opening like this, you might see, you know, over four or five feet opening, you'll see four jam bars on each side. And then when you get to the bigger garage doors, you might see six and eight on each side of the, the opening. And then obviously on the top, we have a nice lintel and it's got rebar going through there. And then what you do is for the second floor, uh, second story windows, you'll carry more rebar up through there and you just overlap them in the openings right here. So right now again, We'll do four foot passes and we're going up 12 feet. So we'll do three passes. And right now these guys are probably halfway through the home already. So we're over here on the south side of Liberty Estate. And if you look closely, you can just see where we've, we have hold down areas for steel and embeds and stuff. Um, what a painstaking process on this house. There's hundreds and hundreds of embeds and, and places where steel goes that the ICF specialist had to cut perfectly and measure correctly and get everything in the walls now so that when we pour it's all there and ready for alignment steel here in a week or so. So, you know, and then every job there's changes that occur, right? Or there's things on the plan that don't necessarily happen in the field. So there was a couple areas where we didn't have the room where the architects and engineers thought. So we went ahead and got um, you know, permission from the engineers to switch things around a little bit, add a little more rebar, lower steel where we could, um, and then frame other stuff where the ICF just wasn't gonna work out. So we think we've had it all dialed in now and these guys are cranking on the pour. These guys have been pouring for roughly 30 minutes or so. I, I believe we're still on our first or second truck. Um, I think we're gonna have about seven or eight trucks today but guessing on the time that it's taking just to do one pass, we're probably going to be here most of the day. I believe this, this first pass will probably take three or four, you know, probably three hours. And then um, looking like maybe each one will take about that. But also as we get higher, it'll, it'll become a little easier because right now we're just trying to make sure that that concrete's falling and getting all the way under all those windows, which is quite a big fall right now. Um, so as we climb higher, it'll get a lot easier to make sure all the concrete and grout is where it needs to be under each opening. Um, but again, we're making sure we vibrate as we go and, and get all, rid of any of those air pockets in there just so we have the strength that we need. And, you know, in, in case people are wondering, the cool thing about this is when we start roughing the house, you just end up shaving the foam away to make room for the trades um, to run their conduit and stuff. And then obviously there are probably half the house that will be out with some sort of framing um, just depending on where it is but in the case where you just have ICF you go ahead and shave that foam out of the way add your conduit add your um, electrical and then you know it'll get whatever insulation and drywall back in there all right guys just wanted to thank you for uh, tuning in today and make sure that you guys follow back up because here in the next couple weeks we'll start uh, all of our steel with alignment steel so once we get all the steel in, we'll do a nice metal pan, get the trades through the floor, and then we're actually gonna pour a nice four inch um, concrete over that steel pan for the second floor. And then we'll get going again on the second set of ICF. But 
Just wanted to give a quick thank you to Fox Blocks and ICS Specialists. Um, those are the two trades right now that we're working closely with at this point in the project. Just wanted to make sure we're giving our due diligence to those guys. They've been awesome. Doug with ICS Specialists, man, you've, you've rocked it. So um, thanks again. Thanks for tuning in and uh, join us next time. <laughs>